What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you want to avoid carpal tunnel, you want to get a mouse that's ergo. I've shown you some of those ergonomic mice on this channel before. My latest one here was actually by a company called Jellycomb, and I really liked it. It was like no question that it was comfortable. It was an easy uh, mouse to adapt to if you use a regular mouse because it just it had a pretty familiar shape to it. Now, my problem with the Jellycomb is I do a lot of computer work and it eventually bit the dust. So what I wanted to do was pick up a new mouse and give it a shake. I also, it's pretty obvious here, this is a wired mouse. You can get these wireless, but my problem is I use them so much. I use them for work. Uh, I don't mind the wire on them, the cord. And to me, it's actually just easier than worrying about replacing batteries, you know? you throw it in a backpack or something like that and the button gets held down or you forget to turn it off whatever you know batteries can die at uh, the worst possible moment and of course you never have batteries to fix them so this one's by McCallie and it's got a plastic you know housing here I will call it a pretty cheap housing it's really smooth actually on these sides and feels a little cheap the you know these seams here aren't lapped or anything I can feel them they're not you know, so harsh or sharp or anything that they feel bad. Uh, you can see here we have some sliders on the bottom, three of them, the little laser light there. It's got a pretty big footprint. This is actually bigger than my jelly comb, but it's much more vertical. It's much more angular. The other one was kind of uh, smaller. And so I do like the fact that this fills out my hand like this. It actually feels great in the hand. And I would say some of them, are, which are like joystick mouse, mice, uh, you know, the real ergo ones, are kind of hard. Your, your mind doesn't really, or mine at least, when it's like vertical, doesn't really associate the buttons right. But when you take a regular mouse feel and just kind of rotate it like this, my mind loves that. And I will tell you that... Uh, in contrast to the jelly comb, this seems to have much more vertical edge. You can see here that we've got a very familiar mice buttons. They do click very easily, you can hear them. We also have a DPI button, so you can scroll through that. We also have our, our track wheel here, and you can see that it's got a little tread on it, and that is rubberized. It's got a, like a rubberized band around it, so it's really easy to get your finger on that. Page up and page down, I don't know that I've ever used those, but it's interesting. And then we also have some finger notches here so that I can put my two top fingers on my other four down here. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I'd actually maybe even want maybe a little more support down here on my last one, but um, there's no problem with uh, space. I'm not dragging my finger on the ground. And I do like that this fills out my palm pretty nicely there too. So pretty nice and very long USB cable. So you'll have no problems wrapping them around the back of your monitor or whatnot. So I'm pretty excited about using this. Just wanted to give you a quick look. Like I said, probably the, my biggest um, complaint about it is the plastic seems very light, thin and cheap, but I'll tell you what, if it does its job, I'll be really happy with this. Now I did pick this up because this was one of the cheaper ones, I think under 12 bucks or maybe somewhere in that ballpark. I will put a link to this in the description below, Peter Von Banda out.